This morning, Muslim leaders expressed their shock and condolences a week after the Parramatta terror attack. Homicide detectives find a body believed to be missing Melbourne mum Penny Bailey. And a V8 driver in more hot water for comments about Bathurst's all-female team. This is 7 News Morning Edition with Anne Sanders. Good morning. Muslim community leaders have expressed their condolences to the family of Curtis Cheng, the police worker shot dead in a terror attack in Western Sydney last week. The Grand Mufti said misguided Islamic teachings on social media are partly to blame for radicalisation. Live now to Chris Reason at Bankstown. Good morning, Chris. The Grand Mufti has called for better dialogue with Australian society. Yeah, good morning to you. And that press conference you referred to wrapped up about an hour ago here. And uh, it wasn't just the Grand Mufti speaking, but also Christian leaders as well. All of them calling for greater dialogue, greater conversation before they either charge him or let him go. And Chris Reason reporting from Sydney. Thank you, Chris. Police believe they found the body of missing Melbourne mother Penny Bailey. The remains were found in bushland at Donvale 24 hours after Penny's adult son was arrested. Melina Saris reports. Well, this is Mullum Mullum Reserve and just behind me amongst all that scrub is where a body believed to be Penny Bailey's was found last night. Investigators discovered the body around 7 o'clock. Next in 7 News, FIFA suspends its top officials. Australian tourists assaulted in Thailand. Also, one of the Americans who foiled a terror attack in France is stabbed. Two taxi drivers are facing court in Brisbane today, charged over a series of attacks on Uber drivers. The black and white cab employees were arrested for allegedly assaulting three Uber drivers and damaging their cars on Monday. Thai police have launched an investigation into a brutal attack on two Australian men by a group of security guards in Phuket. A video uploaded to Facebook shows up to five guards assaulting two men outside a nightclub. Bystanders tried to intervene but were unsuccessful. The condition of the men isn't known. Police in California are hunting the attackers of an American airman who helped to stop a terror attack in France. Spencer Stone was stabbed after a fight on a night out with friends. It started as an argument outside a bar. Time to check the financial markets and the ASX is trading higher this morning after a strong lead in from Wall Street. The Australian dollar is buying 72 US cents, 87 Japanese yen, $1.08 cents New Zealand. Next in 7 News, a big boost for the Wallabies at the Rugby World Cup. Also, the Socceroos hit their first bump on the road to Russia 2018. Socceroos coach Ange Postacoglu says his side had no excuses after a shock 2-0 loss to Jordan in Amman. After a scoreless first half, the Australians conceded a penalty straight after the break. And with six minutes to go, Jordan sealed victory. And here they come looking for a second, Jordan. It might break here for Al Dundon. 2 Jordan. It was the Socceroos' first loss of the campaign. The Australians have now dropped one point behind Jordan after four games. Brisbane Raw has upstaged Western Sydney in the opening match of the A-League season with a 3-1 win at Sydney's Parramatta Stadium. Jamie McLaren scored the first of his two goals in the ninth minute. Jamie McLaren pounces! Drivers were finding it difficult to stay on track. Waters was setting the pace in his Ford. The 20-year-old, who is teaming up with defending champion Chaz Mostert, will be looking to repeat the effort when qualifying gets underway this afternoon. Next in Seven's Morning News, the National Weather Forecast with Tony Auden. Time to get a check of the weather forecast now with Tony Auden. Good morning, Tony. How's it looking? Oh, good morning, Anne. Heat is building across central and western Australia yet again, but this time it's not likely to sweep across and affect eastern capitals. Let's have a look at the satellite at the moment and a high-pressure system out in the Tasman Sea uh, continues to drive showers along the Queensland coast. Also a couple of showers over eastern Victoria and also across on the WA coast this morning. They're linked with a couple of trough systems. Onto the weather wall now and in Melbourne, some early showers this morning, but at the moment it's dry with some patchy cloud, currently 26 degrees. In Sydney, after a gloomy few days sunshine is starting to return and should hang around all afternoon it's currently 22 degrees 
For Brisbane, some overnight showers and drizzle. Some nearby spots picked up over 50 millimetres of rain overnight. Uh, wet weather is now clearing to the north at the moment, also 22 degrees. And moving on to Hobart, uh, plenty of sunshine this morning with just a little bit of cloud in the mix as well. It's 13 degrees at the moment but feels a bit chilly on 9. So moving on to today's forecast, a possible afternoon shower in Melbourne. Uh, Canberra could see a storm. Showers also persisting along the Queensland coast uh, but all other capitals should remain fairly dry. 34 degrees in Alice Springs and also Darwin. Uh, moving on to the all important forecast for the start of the weekend. Tomorrow more showers for coastal Queensland and uh, also around southeastern states. We could see some decent storms over eastern Victoria. Uh, Perth could also see a late storm with a top of 31 degrees and a remaining hot in the west. 34 degrees in Broome and Darwin. 33 in Alice Springs. Uh, tops of 28 degrees for Adelaide and Melbourne and 21 in Hobart. That's the latest weather. More details on the weekend forecast at 4pm and 6 o'clock. Have a lovely weekend. Thank you, Tony. And that's 7 News to Now. We'll leave you with pictures of the newest member of Taronga Western Plains Zoo, a baby ring-tailed lemur. The two-month-old female has been named Imarina after one of the old kingdoms of Madagascar. I'm Ann Sanders. Thanks for your company. Bye for now.